Yo, 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 what is up, guys? It's your boy Tommy Gamba here, back with another video. Let me just fix this real fast, my OCD. <laughs> I hope you guys are all having a great day. And uh, guys, today's video is uh, actually going to be something that I haven't made in such a long time, and that is NHL 22. Oh my god, I haven't done like an NHL video, the video game-wise, in a very long time. So if you guys are new to the channel, please subscribe, leave a thumbs up, it's very well appreciated. And uh, leave your comments, of course, I love responding to everybody's comment, even if it's negative, so hit me with it. Uh, guys, so we're going to be making an NHL 22 video. Obviously, I'm going to be honest with you before I make this video, we don't know anything about NHL 22. Um, the only thing that was kind of leaked, in a way, that I really wanted to talk about, was Frostbite. Was Frostbite being added into NHL um, 22, hopefully it's added in obviously that's i think that's a rumor right now and i'm gonna react to this guy's video because i think sports gamers online which is actually a a good uh, i guess you could say a verified site to where it's kind of updates on madden nhl like all these fifa all these new games that are uh being added so i'm gonna react to this video of him talking about it because if any if anybody has the news it would be sports gamers online compared to me or any other youtuber so um yeah we're gonna react to his and uh guys hopefully frostbite is uh is a real thing because I told you guys this before if you watched my old NHL videos I'm not a huck guy I'm more of like please add GM connected back type of guy and I'm more of uh you know making offline you know franchise mode better uh make it more realistic and just you know live interviews be a pro mode I'm sort of into that um so I could care less about hut <laughs> so we're gonna react to this guy's video so let's get to it EA Sports may finally be moving the NHL series to the Frostbite engine with NHL 22. How's it going sports gamers? Mike Straw, managing editor of Sports Gamers Online here. And a Reddit user by the name of Froggy Died to Wolves recently came across a LinkedIn profile for an EA Sports software engineer. In his profile, the engineer stated that he was working on NHL 22 and the series migration over to Frostbite. After being discovered, though, the profile was then quickly edited to remove any mention of NHL 22 or the Frostbite engine. Now, since 2014, the EA Sports NHL series has utilized the Ignite engine developed by the company specifically for sports games. While other EA Sports titles like Madden and FIFA have jumped to the Frostbite engine in recent years, NHL has remained on the older engine throughout its entire run on the PlayStation 4 and Xbox One. But because it remained on Ignite for so long, many fans have felt that the series has become a bit stale in both visuals and gameplay. But with NHL 22... You got that right, game is freaking trash, bro. Oh my god. Worst sports game to ever be made. <laughs> that does appear to be changing. Now with this rumor, there's a lot of discussion back and forth regarding a move to Frostbite for the NHL series. Is there any benefit really at this point? And why not just introduce a brand new engine made specifically for the PS5 and Xbox Series X hardware? Well, as we've seen with Madden and FIFA over the years, the Frostbite engine will lead to better overall visuals for the game. But because the engine was built originally for use in first-person shooters, it's tough to think that gameplay will be drastically improved enough to players' likings. One thing that would definitely be a plus with the move to Frostbite is that it could lead to the series finally returning to PC. The NHL franchise hasn't had a PC release since NHL 09 13 years ago. The move to Frostbite finally saw Madden come back to PC with Madden 19 for the first time since Madden 08, and it's hard to believe that wouldn't be the case for the NHL as well. In NHL 21, we finally saw drastic improvement in the game's single player via pro mode, as well as continued franchise mode improvements to pre-NHL 15 levels. Hopefully, even with an engine and console generation leave, that won't lead to the same mistakes that NHL 15 made, where a stripped-down version was ultimately released. Now, Sports Gamers Online has reached out to EA Sports regarding the NHL 22 to Frostbite rumor, and should a response be received, we will update you on our website at sportsgamersonline.com. But for now, we want to pass the question off to you. All right, well, the video is pretty much over. So it's kind of cool how they contacted... Um EA Sports NHL they probably won't answer because they don't answer anybody <laughs> which is horrible but uh I think that's kind of cool hopefully we get a frostbite engine guys listen the only reason why I would like frostbite is because mainly if you look at Madden has frostbite and uh yeah GM connected is in Madden but at the same time I don't know if that has anything really significant uh to kind of do with it um, I'm just at a point to where if there's no GM connected, uh, I'm not buying the game. Simple as that. <laughs> and I would say, guys, don't buy the game either because 
It's not worth it. Don't spend $60 on the same BS that we've been getting, especially garbage. The only way to stop these people from making these garbage games is to stop buying it. But if, you know, they add GM Connected, they add Frostbite, if they add things that people want, that's a different story. But, um, guys, listen, I just think NHL is so outdated. Uh, like this guy said, um, like most games that are being made today – they're all like they're all becoming uh, cross play, you know, where you can play with PlayStation players, PC guys. You can play with PC guys. I just think NHL so out of date. Like I, I don't know. It's like they don't want to move to that for some reason, but they have to. Every other game's moving to it, so why not NHL? But anyway, guys, I hope that kind of uh, helped you out here. Like I said, I don't have really a lot of information on this either, and I wish I did. Um, but like I said, the most main thing I want is GM connected. If they don't have, it's either GM connect or bust like at this point, that's for me. But if you guys, honestly, if you have any other opinions as well on this, let me know because for me, it's GM connected or bust. And I would like to also see, um, a better version of, uh, the offline, you know, kind of be a, you know, franchise mode. I would like to see that a little bit better. Uh, excuse me, but, uh, guys have a great day. I just want to make this quick video. I wish I had more information on this, but I don't. I know nobody else does either. So if you guys hear anything, comment. Like I said, guys, GM connected or bust. So I'll check guys out later. Have a great day. Peace.